So not only is the motor or the uh, drive gear is clutched as well as the, uh, the rear hub as well. So it allows the two to uh, spin freely if you um, go over speed, I guess, or go over the, the 25 kilometre uh, boost that the, um, the motor puts in for you as part of being an e-bike. That's sort of what gives the power assist. This is the best internal bike, cable bike ever to work on, because you just take the down tube off and then it's not internal anymore. <laughs> I had the battery in already, already and then I decided uh, there was no actual action so I removed the battery and I found out I have to turn the battery on before the bike will work I guess effectively. So the bike is um, just like a normal road bike, structurally sound a ride without the battery. They actually have a faux cover over it if you need. Uh, so we just hold the buttons on, gives us an indication that we probably need an actual battery charge. I'm going to reinstall the battery. And then I can just power up. mil tyres which is perfect. A perfect scenario would be if I could fit two sets of wheels, run two sets of wheels and run a road set and a gravel set and then it would be one bike to rule them all right. Yeah it looks absolutely beautiful. You sort of think of e-bikes and you think of um, something that's a really different experience and I found it really smooth and you know it was really fun like it was a lot more fun than I expected. So this will be fun too. I'm excited. No chain, it's, it's like how I ride in my dreams. It doesn't go like that. It waits until you're, okay. you're actually trying to pedal consistently and then and jumps in really smoothly. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> This is uh, without battery. I will take it down. Install. Yeah. Yeah. 
That simple, that quick. This is sort of Sam, but it's actually Lisa's mountain bike. Would so, you like my version of this? This uh, one's mine, this is Lisa. Sam's. Okay. Sam's. Who, sorry, who rides that one? I haven't ridden it, ever. Trainer. Never. Whatever. I rode the other one. Then we'll sell it. Moving right along. Sam. Sam. So this was my bike. This is the first um, Australian bike to ride, a, to finish on the lead lap of the World Cross Champs. And then we, it, we retired it and now it's Sam's um, cross bike. But that frame is beautiful to ride. It's really nice. Focus mares, and that's my single speed commuter. We're talking now because it's a focus that you've got with the yeah. story of your new focus. Yeah. But you have a history with the brand. That was one of your uh, primary sponsors when you were a national yeah. champion. Can you go through the focus uh, family of bikes that you collected? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I love focus. I was in the really fortunate position when I rode cyclocross of being able to choose who I wanted to ride with. And um, my view was that focus rode, had the best cyclocross bikes in the world. They, I ride their Focus Mares for cyclocross, and I ride their Azalco Max on the road, um, and now the Paralane, which is their gravel e-bike. <laughs> and you have the aim of trying to have two sets of wheels, so not be set on a, and yeah, a slip set. Yeah, that's that right. right. Yeah. So, so up until now, for um, for my pregnancy, I've been doing a lot of gravel riding, just because it's a it's a really lovely way of, of riding I've been really enjoying it and you can ride by yourself really happily and slower um, and I've been riding a setup that has two sets of wheels so one gravel um, one gravel or cyclocross set so I can do single track um, and um, and then another set which is a road set so I can ride on the road really comfortably and I've just set them up so that they're interchangeable so I, I take one set of wheels out put the other set in and we're ready to go and I did you know last weekend I did a um, an 80 or 90k road ride on them with no problems and then the weekend before I did a afternoon single track and gravel adventure ride. It's the same bike, it's one bike to rule them all. <laughs> 